Hello all you hardcores out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here. Hello all you haters as well, how are you doing? I hope you're alright. Because you keep watching don't you? But don't worry. I'm doing you all a favour. Because if you weren't watching me you'd be knocking your old ladies about wouldn't you? So, right this video, I'm going to get straight in on it. I'm going to call it matchroom gimps now it's about matchroom gimps or planet gimpville planet gimpville that's what it needs to be called because uh, as far as i'm concerned what world are some of these people on in what world are these people in i don't know but Here's the new Sky Team, Anna, Matthew, Macklin, Frotch, Johnny and Adam. Now Johnny and Adam are always going to be there. The presenter may change from time to time. Uh, Macklin and Frotch, Macklin's not bad is he? Frotch is not bad, his scorecards are shocking though at times aren't they? But it's in his opinion he's not a judge is he? But uh but anyway, this is how oh, Andy Scott slipped onto it. I want to talk about matchroom gimps. And what I mean by gimps, I mean the fans. Now, some of the emails I get sent by these matchroom gimps is shocking. I mean, it's totally shocking. I mean, keep sending them coming, but they're shocking. Now, next week, sometime next week, I'm going to go through them all. All these, uh, all these, I'm going to go through all these emails and uh, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to read a few out to you. Now, a lot of people don't understand what a gimp is. Well, a gimp is a casual, but I call them gimps. You know, they're the ones that sing Sweet Caroline at matching shows and they come out with things like, uh Joshua is too much for Wilder and Wilder don't want to fight him now we all know what went on don't we we all know what's going down we know don't we we know so people need to stop coming out with all this rubbish that Anthony Joshua wants to fight him wants to fight uh, Wilder and stuff like that Jim Watt won't put up with any of that, would he? Or Glenn McClory. They won't put up with it. We know what happened to them, don't we? Do you know what I mean? We all know what happened to them, so... Adam Smith responds to criticism. God. Of Joshua Tackham. Oh, God, I don't even want to... I can't even read it. I can't even read it, but I will. Let's have a look. No, I won't. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to waste any more time reading about Adam Smith. Adam Smith, right? People say you've got a problem with Adam Smith. You call him Mr. Bean and things like that. Well, look. Does he look like Mr. Bean? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He looks like one of them kids that's, you know... You, you didn't science class with all your mates because you're not good enough to go do chemistry, physics or biology, you know, as a subject on its own. So what they did in, in Comprehensive I went to, they put us all in this group, science, the science group, you know, where they just keep us happy for an hour, we just mess about. And they just wanted us to, well, all I ever wanted was just to get to quarter four and go home, basically. I mean, that's how much I like school. But... Adam Smith looks to me like one of the 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 boffins, you know, from 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 the biology or chemistry physics lessons that stumbled into cool kids class, you know, where the all cool kids are, you know, them them that uh, when in the science grew. Because I always thought I were quite cool at school, me and my pals, or woodwork, you know, he stumbled into group. And that he shouldn't be there. He always look. He always looks like that type of guy to me, Adam Smith. If if, if you get if you get my idea, for that. I mean, you might not agree with me, but uh, that's just my opinion. 
But uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think Adam Adam Smith. Nobody's going to go against him. He's got a lot of power, hasn't he, at Sky now. He's worked his way up. And they're only going to say nice things about him. Aren't they? You've got three boxers there and a fit bird and Adam Smith. He's like, spot the odd one out of the five. Out of the and five people, spot the odd one out. It's Adam Smith in it. Go back to Eton. If you go on Adam Smith's profile, it says that he uh, used to practice as a ten-year-old with a dictaphone. Pretending that he were like commentating. What a helmet. But getting back to gimps now the the world of gimpery. Now I saw I saw one other day uh, a video by Ultratech Sports Rory said the world of mongery. Well I, I, I just call it gimp gimpery or gimpville. Now these people, these casuals, then they're, they're not normal people. They are not normal they can't be that they, they don't understand boxing like us hardcores understand it they just do not they don't get it they just don't get it at all now we get it don't we we know what's going on don't we we know what's going on but these casuals they don't and it's i believe that it's killing the sport i really 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 believe it's killing the sport it's it's putting boxing in a bad light all the time. It's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for now? It's just, pff, these people are just weirdos. Weirdos. Now, they need to get and follow a proper sport. Do you know what I mean? That they that suits them because boxing doesn't suit these 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 casuals that Eddie Hearn's got on the hook. Now they're going to these shows. They just want to go to an event. They don't even know about what's happening with scoring and 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 how it's structured. How Eddie Hearn's got judges who are getting looked after in nice hotels. He's got referees who who are pally pally. And these referees will stop a fight at drop of an art. Uh, everything's geared up for Matchroom to dominate. And I just think it's pure gimpery. From Gimpville Island. That's where they all live, Gimpville. Do you know where in that programme, Green Mile, where they send that mouse to Mouseville? Well, these gimps, they live in Gimpville. And that's what they are, just pure gimps. Now, that's just my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Now, it's got to stop all this gimpery. It really, really must stop because it's just utter nonsense. I mean, look, look at this here, for example. What sort of people bought into this? Davy Day, four or five year out of boxing. He's got a revenge hat on there. Adam Smith there, the odd one out. Eddie Hearn there, he's had it given him by his dad. And, and he keeps saying he turned the silver spoon gold. No, you didn't. The lottery funds the EIS. They have the Olympic team. You get the pick of them, Eddie. McCracken's the man on the inside. He's giving you the conveyor belt. Sky give you the platform. You do not put your own money in. You are the luckiest man in boxing. Adam Smith... How is he even a commentator? What does he know about combat fighting? Get rid of him and get ex-fighters on the job. Tony Bellew, he's not beat anybody. Who's he beat? And they've got David Day here. And the people bought into this. The rematch. Oh my God. Oh my God. How did people buy into that? The same way that they bought into David Hay against... Tony Bellew. These people are not normal people. Now, what we've got here now, do you remember a few months ago when Macklin said that he'd like to see Lomachenko against Crawler? Well, trust me, Crawler's now mandatory for Lomachenko. That fight will happen. Lomachenko against Anthony Crawler. Do me a favour. I'll repeat that again. Lomachenko will fight Anthony Crawler next year. Oh my 
God. Let me say that again. Lomachenko against Anthony Crawler, who is shot to pieces. But he is Eddie Hearn's love child after Tony Bellew. Now, Eddie Hearn says all the right things, doesn't he, to Bellew, and Bellew says all the right things back. They had one of them relationships. Well, of course Bellew was going to love him. He's the guy writing the checks, isn't he? Now, Crawler, once he got his head stoved in with that slab, Eddie Hearn matched him to a world title. Because he had a story, he had a script to work with. And that's how boxing's going, and I don't like how it's heading with these scripts. What about the kids that are talented? What about them? These talented kids, right? These talented kids in boxing, right? When are they going to get their chances? Just because they haven't got a script to write. For example, there's boxers out there that are good boxers, but they don't get a look in, do they? Because they don't do numbers on IFL. So does that mean that all these new boxers that are going to turn pro in the next couple of years, do they know in their heart of hearts that they've got to pal up Michelle Joy Phelps? Is that what they've got to do? Look at Adam Smith, he looks different now he's had Botox, doesn't he? Hey. Eh? Anyway, I'm going to go anywhere, but I'm going to leave you with that Adam Smith, but peace out. Shout out to my sponsors, you know who you are, Justin Tea Leaf Company.